Hi everybody! So today I'm going to be making my own bespoke watercolour tin with these beautiful paints which have been kindly gifted to me from Winsor & Newton. Um, these are um, tubes of watercolour and I'm going to be squeezing them into these little, um, these little pots which are called pans and which sit in a watercolour tin like this. They sort of fix in. Um, I've taken them out for the moment so you can see what I'm doing and the whole point of this is going to be um, so you can paint in your woodland watercolour book with a completely unique and bespoke tin of paints. So there is a section in here called basic painting techniques um, which will help you along. There's a little intro about colour mixing um, to get you started, techniques using your workbook, um, finding your own colour identity and choosing colours and things. So, um, and then it's very much a book where um, it's your space to experiment and, um, and play with watercolour. So, let's get started. So what I have here is a range of colours. I think I've got um, 46, no, 48 in this tin. Is that right? I'm not quite sure. Um, for the paints, I've also got these little um, cocktail sticks, we'll see what, I, what I'm going to do with those in a minute, some tissue um, to wipe on and a little swatch card and I've got some water to the side. So you can buy sets obviously of watercolour paints like this Winsor & Newton set, this is my trusty, um, my trusty set that I take out and about with me um, and inside there there are again little pans like the ones I'm about to fill with little hard cakes of watercolour and these are obviously water soluble and as soon as you apply water they become more um, more bedded into the into the pan and won't fall out. Um, so as you can see, I use a lot of green <laughs> in my um, in my painting. So what I'm going to be doing today in my bespoke tin is to be mixing a couple of my own greens that I use a lot, and I also like to use pink. So I'm going to be making some um, some mixing some lovely pink colours. So in my tin, it's really unique and bespoke to me, and will be much easier to go straight to the colours I want. Um, when I'm painting in my book. So to get started, I have chosen a range of colours I think I will use. These are mainly from the Cotman um, Windsor & Newton watercolour range, um, which is their standard range, and some are from the professional range, colours that they didn't have in there, like Potter's Pink, um, Terra Vert, and Olive Green, which are colours that I absolutely love and I wanted to include. But um, I think I've worked out, I've got about three rows of colours that I've chosen and I was going to do about a row or just under of colours that I'm going to mix myself. Um, I've been practising those, so fingers crossed they're going to work, um, but I'll show you how I do that. Um, right, so to get started, um, what I've done in this instance is to um, label, I don't know if you can see that there, um, label the um, the pans on the reverse so they correspond to the tin. So this is basically really helpful. When you have finished using up this pan, this little, um, this little block of paint, you can just squeeze a little bit more and leave it to dry and it'll be topped up good as new. Um, you don't have to label the reverse of all of them, but I just find it really helpful for me or to make sure I actually put squeeze the right paint <laughs> into the right <laughs> into the right um, pan. So I'm gonna start with this lemon yellow hue um, and I will show you what I do. I'll pop this on here. Basically open it over the pan because sometimes the paint starts squeezing out. Take one of your cocktail sticks. <clears throat> sometimes it's, oh look, it's already starting to squeeze out. And you squeeze, I don't know if you can see, into the corners of the pan. So you want to make sure that you've got it as much in the pan as possible. There we go. I'm going to do a little extra blob on here. Trying to keep it inside the pan, like so. Um, and then what I'm going to do is use my cocktail stick, one cocktail stick per colour please folks, because if you mix them up, you're gonna have an absolute mare and you just smoosh it into the corners. Basically when this dries, don't dry it in direct sunlight people, or it might affect the pigment, but when you dry it nicely inside, take about a day or two to dry, sometimes a bit longer depending on where you are, 
um, this will sort of shrink down and it will become completely concave and you'll actually, um, the whole pan will reduce by about maybe a third or maybe a quarter. So you will have to top these up again, but I'm just gonna show you the basics now so you can see what to do. So there we are, there's one, one full. I will just pop him down here and then pop my stick. I can wipe it on here. Or if you don't want to use that paint, you can use that paint a little bit later to make your um, make your watercolor swatches. Right, so there we go. There's number one done. So next I do the same for all the colors in the tubes till the pans are filled and then I leave them to dry. I really wish it was as quick as you can see on here, but in reality, it probably took me about 45 minutes um, because you have to squeeze the paint into each of the corners and then move it around with your cocktail stick so it's even in the pan when you leave it to dry. Again, so it's been several days since I filled up my little pans and I'm going back because they have dried out and I'd like to top them up so I'd like to show you what has happened um, let's have a little look up close you can see that as they've dried they've shrunk down and they sort of come away from the side a little bit so they're gonna need a good old top up to get them um, to get them full and um, some of them have done crazy things like this one here if you can see it. So this colour is, as you can see, my handy little stickers at the back, Terra Vert. Um, and it's really shrunk away. It's got a massive, you can sort of see it's got a hole, right? You can see right, at the, right through to the bottom of the pan. So that needs plenty of filling in. Um, so, right. Um, yep, this one as well. It's feeling a bit, feeling a bit dry and crunchy and it's gonna need plenty of topping up. So here we go. So I'm just going to show you the process here with the blue in real time and then I'm going to speed it up. But basically you just do exactly as you did when you were filling up the original pans, making sure to fill in any little gaps and holes that you find with paint and poking it in with your cocktail stick. So basically carry on exactly as I've shown you if you're going to do this yourself. Uh, fill up all of the pans with paint to the top uh, with the coordinating colours, obviously, and using a clean cocktail stick so you don't muddy the colours or accidentally mix them up. Um, this can be particularly important when you're uh, adding colours to, say, yellow, lemon yellow. Even a touch of black or even a touch of, I don't know, ochre will completely taint the colour. If that happens, stop quickly, either get a clean cocktail stick and, um, and scrape away the that you've added, or um, or a bit of tissue will do the job. Um, but then leave that to dry before trying to add it again. So here we are with my finished set of watercolour paints. These are all dry and even and ready to pop into the tin to paint with. Um, my next video is going to be talking about making a small swatch card using all the colours in your set to pop into the lid of your tin so when you're out and about you can easily identify which ones you'd like to use. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.